consider a simple example over here you can see that there is a hearth in which fire is burning now in this fire one end of an iron rod has been kept as you can see now the iron rod is a solid medium so when one end of it is kept inside the fire this entire iron rod gets heated up due to the process of conduction as we have studied earlier conduction is a process due to which in solids heat is transferred from one end to the other so for conduction to take place there has to be the presence of a solid medium along which heat can travel now i have a question for you the earth is very far away from the sun that is lakhs and lakhs of kilometers far away and obviously in outer space there is no medium let alone being a solid medium there is no medium at all it is complete vacuum so there is no medium and obviously there is no solid medium so how do you think that the heat from the sun is reaching the earth how is it that people on earth are feeling warm when the heat is coming from the sun let us answer that question now before we answer that consider this animation in this animation you will find that there are three people who are standing apart from one another with no direct contact and the person on the left who has an excess of parcels is transferring these parcels to the people who are in lack of it if you observe closely you will find that there is no direct contact in between these three people yet the parcel is getting transferred that is the person on the left is throwing these parcels and the person concerned on the other ends is catching it so in a similar way heat is traveling from the sun to the earth that is in that case even though there is no direct contact in between earth and sun heat is traveling from the sun to the earth by a process which is known as radiation in other words we can say that the sun is radiating heat so that people on earth are able to feel this heat so how can we define radiation of heat radiation is a method of heat transfer that does not rely upon any contact between the heat source and the destination or the object that is being heated so like we saw in the previous case there is no direct contact in between the sun and the earth the sun in this case is the heat source and the earth is the heated object so in case of sun and earth radiation of heat is taking place much unlike what was happening in the case of the fire and the iron rod that was placed in the fire in that case since there was direct contact in between the fire and the iron rod that is the entire iron rod a solid medium conduction was taking place but radiation is a method which does not rely upon any contact in between the two points so we can say that the presence of medium is not necessary in order for radiation to take place now consider this picture over here a lady is sitting in front of the fireplace and she is able to feel the heat of the fire now even though there is no presence of any solid medium you will tell me that there is a medium present that is there is air all around the lady so how is she able to feel the heat heat is also radiated in the presence of air or any other gas just like heat does not need any medium to be radiated it does not mean that that is a necessary condition heat can also be radiated in gaseous mediums as we see in this case which is air so due to radiation of heat from the fireplace to the lady she is able to feel the warmth or the heat of the fire so how do you think the heat is actually traveling from the sun to the earth we mentioned that heat is being radiated and it does not need a medium but how exactly is this taking place now before we answer that question let us revisit the concept of electromagnetic waves what are electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves are a form of disturbances that can travel through vacuum that is they do not necessarily need a medium to travel and an electromagnetic wave is produced when there is a disturbance in simultaneously occurring 
electric fields and magnetic fields that is when an electric field is coupled with a magnetic field electromagnetic waves are formed so how can we link electromagnetic waves with heat energy it has been found out that heat energy travels in the form of electromagnetic waves and this is the reason why the radiation of heat energy does not require a medium this is how heat is traveling from the sun to the earth in the form of electromagnetic waves so what else do we know is an electromagnetic wave light so the properties which light has similar properties are also owned by heat so what are the properties of heat radiations heat radiations travel with the same velocity with which light travels that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second heat radiations travel in a straight line heat radiations also obey the laws of reflection as well as refraction and heat radiations just like light can travel in all directions now consider the picture that you can see on the screen over here we have considered two instances in the first instance we have a hot coffee cup and in the second instance we have considered a bonfire now can you tell me which one will radiate heat more the hot coffee cup or the bonfire the power of radiating heat energy or the capability to radiate heat energy will be more when the temperature of the considered object is more so obviously in these two cases the bonfire has a greater energy than the hot coffee cup so obviously the power of radiating heat energy will be more for the bonfire as compared to the hot coffee cup in other words the bonfire will radiate more heat energy whereas the hot coffee cup will radiate less heat energy now let me tell you a very interesting fact if a body can absorb more heat energy only then will it be able to radiate more heat energy now let me explain this fact with a very simple example let's say you and your friend are both preparing for an exam now you have studied the entire syllabus and are fully prepared whereas your friend has not studied as much as you have he is not prepared so during the exam what do you think will happen during the exam when the paper comes you will be able to answer all the questions whereas your friend will not be able to answer as many questions as you have why because since you have taken in more or absorbed more that is you have studied more you are able to give out more or radiate more likewise your friend who has absorbed less that is studied less is able to give out or radiate less so the same is applicable in case of heat energy and objects those objects that can absorb more can also radiate more now let me tell you another interesting fact why do you think that your mom always tells you not to wear black colored clothes during summer the reason is that black colored objects absorb more heat now let us revisit an old concept because of this we have studied that an object appears black because all wavelengths of light are absorbed because all wavelengths of light are absorbed an object appears black so what do you think happens to this light energy once it is absorbed by the object a part of this light energy is actually converted into heat energy and this heat energy is absorbed by black because black colored objects are good absorbers of heat so as a result your mother forbids you from wearing black colored clothes in summer because it will make you feel more uncomfortable similarly she always encourages you to wear white colored objects or white colored clothes why do you think it is so we have learned that a white colored object appears white because it reflects all the wavelengths that visible light contains so none of it is absorbed so if none of it is absorbed no amount of it is converted into heat energy and as a result we can say that white colored objects absorb very little or almost no heat and this is the reason why your mother will always encourage you to wear white colored clothes during summer 
because they make you feel more comfortable. So taking a quick recap, what did we study? We studied that there is a method of heat transfer from one body to another which does not require the presence of a medium. We have studied earlier that conduction requires the presence of a solid medium. Radiation is the method of heat transfer which does not require any medium. Radiation is the method through which heat is transferred from the sun to the earth. We also saw another example of radiation which can also take place in gases where the lady sitting in front of the fireplace was able to feel the heat that was coming out from the fire. We also learnt that radiation of heat energy follows a similar pattern as light energy. In other words, heat energy is also radiated in the form of electromagnetic waves just like light energy and it obeys all the laws of reflection and refraction and travels at the same speed as light does. We also saw why your mother encourages you to wear white colored clothes in summer and not black colored clothes because black colored clothes absorb more heat and will make you feel more uncomfortable than white colored clothes which actually make you feel comfortable. We also learned certain other concepts where we saw that objects which can absorb more heat have the capability to radiate more heat and an object will be able to radiate more heat if its temperature is more.